Recently, I saw a post on a TNR Facebook group um, where someone purchased this pretty inexpensive uh, remote um, drone clip, uh, uh, an add-on for your large size drone to drop items from above and how they used it to um, rem basically make a remote trigger uh, for a gravity trap, so it's like the, such as the traps from True Catch. So it was like $26, came pretty quick. So I thought I'd give it a try. And in the video that the person posted on Facebook, it showed it working, but it really didn't show in detail uh, how the device is. So this is the box that you get. Again, it's made for drones, so it's not made for traps. We're gonna be kind of using it for that. Um, in the box, you get the remote control. So this is a te teardrop shaped remote control. And you get um, the actual uh, um, receiver. This is the device that actually will open and close when you press the button on the on the remote. You also get this oversized Velcro strap, which again is for drones. So it's made for uh, attaching a around a large drone. Um, you get this little USB adapter, which you need to charge the rechargeable battery, which is inside of the receiver. And you get instructions, which I didn't even look at. Okay. So first thing I'm going to point out, some things that are not great about this. Um, number one is this special USB charger that you have to not lose and you have to use to recharge the battery that is inside of the, uh, the receiver that will be on the trap. So there's a little battery in here that you get through this little door over here. I'll open it up in a second. And um, it plugs into this little port right there. And then this plugs into any USB port to charge. So that's one bad thing is you can't lose this. And if you do, you'll never find this again because this is very proprietary. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I did not like about this was that both the, um, the remote and the receiver had these super tiny little screws, like um, screws that you would have for eyeglasses, uh, keeping the battery's uh, doors closed. Which I get if this is on a drone and you might drop it from a high distance, you don't want the batteries popping out. Um, but I had to go and track down that screwdriver, which thank God I had, so I was able to do it. But I could see that being a problem for some people, just, just accessing the batteries to begin with. So behind the battery door, you'll see that little battery that I talked about. This is rechargeable and you unplug it from here and it plugs into this little hole here. And then this goes into any USB charger or computer to charge. So again, not, not a fan of that battery, but it is what it is. On the remote, they also had a little screw keeping the battery door closed. Obviously I'm not putting those screws back in because I don't think they're necessary. The remote runs on three watch cell batteries. Also not ideal, but they did come with the uh, unit, so I didn't have to purchase them. And we'll see how long they last, but this can be a little bit of a pain to, uh, you know, to replace when you need to. Um, and I don't even know what number they are, I have to check. <clears throat> so we have the receiver, we have the remote, and these are the two big pieces that we're gonna need. So there was nothing to do to set them up, I just had to charge this battery and install the watch batteries here. And then there's an on off switch right here. This light will flash when it's not connected to the remote. The remote has a big switch right in the front. Turn it on. Okay. Once the two have a connection, you'll see there's a solid light, red light on both of them. That means they're connected. And all the remote does, very simple, is there's a little bar right here in between these two little plastic pegs. And when you press the button, It just opens, very simple. Open and close, very simple. So how are we going to use this with a gravity trap? So I um, I started trying to use the Velcro strap, but I quickly realized that it would, it, although it was working, it wouldn't be ideal because that would mean that the, um, the Velcro was actually going inside the trap so you'd have to go inside the trap to unloop it to remove the velcro and if you did trap a cat you wouldn't necessarily be able to reach in and take the velcro out so i said okay let's not use the velcro so then i said let me just use a zip tie so here is a zip tie that i believe 
I should be able to slide the receiver in and out and just leave the zip, line, zip, zip tie in place. So the, I had put the zip tie on earlier and I had taken the device out and now I just put it back in and you know, I was able to do it. I'm gonna slide it right in here as far as it can go. And that's pretty much all you really need to keep it in place here. Okay. So in order to connect the um, receiver here with its uh, mechanism to the trap door, I um, found in our TNR to go bag a short bungee cord. I'm pretty sure we bought these on Amazon. I'm going to see if there's anything similar available on Dollar Tree. You could use a piece of rope, I'm sure, but this is just a really short bungee cord. We actually use this to bungee cord um, a carrier with kittens to the back of a trap so mom cats can't push the carrier away from the trap. So this, that's what we use this for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just take the hook, make sure that when it opens, it releases it. So you're just going to do it like this, like that. And then you see it extends to the front of the trap. Here's my gravity trap. And now I'm going to go ahead, lift the rings, open the door, and I'm going to attach this hook to the door. You want to go ahead and you want to place the hook pretty far um, up the door so that it stays at the angle that you want it to be at. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. And you'll see the hook holding this here. What's nice about using the bungee cords are it already has hooks built in. So I'm not worrying about, um, uh, you know, uh, having to tie something, a piece of string onto the door or nothing like that. The hooks are already built in and it kind of facilitates this pretty well. So let's quickly take a look at what we have here. I have the receiver unit zip tied. There's only one zip tie on there. I can easily slide the receiver out from that zip tie if I wanted to, to pack everything up. I have that connected. I have the bungee cord hook through the um, little bar that's gonna open when I push the button. The bungee cord then goes to the door, which is hooked onto the door. And then you see here my door, my, my gravity trap is open. So basically what's gonna happen when I press the button is this little bar is gonna open. It's gonna release this this side of the bungee cord. So this hook is gonna be released and then the door will close and the whole bungee cord is gonna flop over. So the bungee cord will always stay connected to the door and it will just come down. Um, but the door, the trap will close. Let me just back up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get my button here. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the trap and here we go. And there you go. And that's how it works. Here's my trap. So it's all set. Here's the remote. Here is the other side of it. And if you're wondering if it will work with a spring-loaded trap, uh, I think it could. So here I have the hook, uh, the bungee cord hook on the little handle for the front door. And um for the door to be open enough it probably would have to be mounted somewhere over here uh so i would need a long, longer bungee cord because obviously i can't stick the receiver here i'd have to put it back here towards the back of the trap so you might need a longer bungee cord or something and also since it's a spring-loaded trap um i definitely it it's pulling pretty hard on my finger so you're going to want to make sure that you maybe have to use two zip ties to secure the receiver to the trap because it's going to be pulling on it pretty hard uh, unlike because only because it's a spring-loaded uh, door, uh, but yeah, I definitely think that it would work here and it would do something like this, like that. So overall, I think it's an inexpensive. I mean, the the price is really what saves this. Um, I'm I will not buy another one. I will just stick with the one I have and 
Uh, I'm sure I'll find a use for it, but it, um, uh, you know, listen, it, it, it does work. You do have to play around with it. You do have to get things that, that work for you. So such as I have, I had this bungee cord available, which worked really well. Um, and I'm not going to lie, when I was uh, standing all the way back from the trap uh, near the shed, um, the, the remote wasn't instant. I, I had to hold the button down um, and I had to push it a few times before the trap closed. And I wasn't that far away. So, you know, you're going to have to see how uh, your use um, works for it. But uh, it definitely... Um, yeah, it's definitely an option if you're looking for an inexpensive way to make a remote triggered gravity trap. And it should work just as well with a Tomahawk gravity trap as well.